Hello everyone, in this video, I will share 15 great websites where you can access public domain and royalty-free content. These are the websites that I have personally used to find materials for my digital and analog collage work, and you can use them to download and use content digitally or print them out and use them in analog form. So, get your pen and paper ready, let's get started. Our first website is Unsplash. This site is more focused on photos than images. It has a user-friendly and easy-to-use interface. You can simply type what you're looking for in the search box to search directly. Alternatively, you can choose a topic from the listed categories in this section to search. Let's choose Arts and Culture. It opened the category for us with a very beautifully textured visual. Let's scroll down and see. There is a download button in the bottom right corner of the images but I don't use it. I'll tell you why in a moment. For example, let's open one and I'll show you where you can download it from. I prefer to download the images by adjusting the size I want. In this section, it shows you similar images to the one you selected. At the bottom, there are also keywords for the image, which you can click on to diversify your search. Our second website is the Public Domain Review, as the name suggests. This site offers images, books, sounds, and films. After the site loads, we click on collections at the top. From here, you can select images, books, or make more specific searches based on themes, genres, and more. Let's open one of these and take a look at how you can download it. This site always manages to surprise me with its images. As it says here, you can right-click on any image and download it in high resolution. Our third website is Pexels. This site limits searches to photos and videos. When you click on the search box, it shows you trending searches as well. Let's try searching for food. Here, the site also presents new keywords related to our search term. From here, you can also filter your search based on things like orientation, size, and color. They look very delicious. Let's see how we can download these donuts. As you can see, this site is also designed to allow us to download the image in the desired size, just like Unsplash, and the download process is straightforward. Let's move on to our fourth website, the New York Public Library. After opening the site, click on the Research and then Digital Collections section. You will find a digital library of 932,533 pieces. However, I must emphasize that not everything on the site is copyright free, so when you search for something, be sure to check the box to search for materials that are open to the public. Now, let's do a sample search for butterflies, which will bring up anything with the word butterfly in it. On the left side, you will find options to customize your search. Going back to the previous page, you will find various collections that you can also browse through. For example, let's open the collection prepared for designers and see where we can download the images. Let's take a look at the postcards. Postcards are useful materials for vintage collage work and journaling. Let's choose Valentine's Day and see how many cards are in that category. And here are a bunch of postcards, let's open the one with the little angel. The site provides two different pixel options to choose from. You can easily download the one you like by clicking on it. Let's move on to our fifth website, Pixabay. This site is more focused on photos, just like Pexels and Unsplash, but it also allows you to search for illustrations, vectors, and GIFs if you're interested. Let's try searching for clouds this time, which I also use a lot. It gave us some really beautiful cloud images. Let's open this one with the red clouds and find the download button. Here it is. Without further ado, let's move on to another website, the Metropolitan Museum of Art, also known as the Met. We click on the Met collection under the Art section and access the collection of over 490,000 works they share with us. Not all of these works are available for free use, so we don't search for our content from here. Instead, we click on the Public Domain Artwork section and do our search from there. The filtering options are also available here. Let's do a search right away. When I think of the Met, costumes come to mind. Let's take a look at this helmet. It's worth confirming again that the image is publicly available from here. You can choose the angle of the image that will work for you and easily download it using the download button. 
Now we have arrived at number 7, ESO Republic. We are presented with a familiar interface again, offering two options for searching for photos and videos. Categories are also available here. Let's take a look at street images, which I think are effective in surreal collage works. For example, an empty street can be beautiful. You can confirm from here that the usage does not require copyright, and you can easily download the image from here as well. Number 8 is the Welcome Collection. This time we are going to a library in the UK. When we click on the visuals under the Collections section and mark the license as publicly available, we enter the safe zone. I'm opening an image right away and showing you where to download it. Here, like we have seen on other sites before, they offer two different pixel download options in JPEG format. Next up is the Los Angeles County Museum of Art. We click on the collection under the Art and Events section right away. Here, there are various categories available. Let's take a look at the Jewelry section. Again, let's mark the search as publicly available so that we don't come across something that will put us in a difficult situation. Let's take a look at these beautiful earrings and see where we can download them. Yes, you can easily download the image from the Download Image section here. Number 10 on our list is StockSnap. As it has a similar interface to other stock photo websites, I suggest we do a quick search this time. Let's do a popular search and see what kind of mushroom images it will bring up. Here, I am opening this one. Information about the image is available below it and yes, we can also see the download button right underneath. Next up is the Art Institute of Chicago. I think by now you know where we're heading. The collection, of course. Then we mark the public domain option. And there are 56,510 images available. The filters are also available here. Without wasting any time, I'm opening this famous painting, and let's see where we can download it. Let's make sure here too, and here is the download button. Next, there is a website that I love and frequently use, RawPixel. Now, I'm opening the public domain section, and all the images are available in the first section, while the rest are categorized by the artist. If you have an organization obsession like me, this site is perfect for you because everything is incredibly organized. You cannot download images without being a member of this site. It's not a long process to become a member, and there is no fee for standard membership, which gives you the right to download 5 free images from the collection every day. I usually use these rights to download the PNG formats of images that I think will take up too much time to clean. There is also a premium membership available, which gives you unlimited downloads in all categories for a monthly fee. This time I logged in, let's do another search. Let's open this dog image, and from here you can download your image by selecting the size and format you want. Let's check another one for PNG format, like this parrot, and yes, there is a PNG format available. You can use one of your daily 5 rights to download this parrot's PNG version. Next up is the Cleveland Museum of Art. We click on the Collection Online section from the Art tab, and then select Open Access to enter the public domain area. As usual, there are various filtering options available, and you can also directly search for what you're looking for. Let's take a look at Dora Wheeler's portrait. Information about the artwork is provided here, and this is where we can find the download button we're looking for. Coming in at 14, we have the National Gallery of Art. Here, we click on Search the Collection in the Collection section. Then, we enter the On View section. Of course, you can still use filters or make specific selections. Let's open an image and see where we can download it from. This site has more historical paintings, such as portraits, landscapes, and religious ceremonies. And here we have the permission for public use and the download button. We've arrived at the 15th and final site, Public Domain Pictures. This site tends to have a bit too much advertising, but it does have some nice images available. Categories are available here as well. Let's do a search and look for something I like to use in my work. For example, let's open this one. 
You have an option to either pay a small amount to download a high resolution version, or you can download a lower resolution one for free. I think I've used the free images so far, and the resolutions have been sufficient for me. I want to emphasize the downloading process because the image doesn't download immediately when you click the download button, it opens up in a new page. To download the image, simply right click on the image in the new page and select save image as. I have shared with you 15 public domain websites that I also enjoy using. I hope this video has been helpful. I will share the links to the final versions of the websites in the description section so you can directly access the visuals. Copyright is a very important issue, so please make sure to confirm that any content you wish to download is public domain, copyright free, royalty free, or has a CC0 license, and also be aware of any potential updates. Don't forget to like, save, and subscribe to the channel to join me. Finally, if you know of any other similar websites, please share them in the comments so that we can all learn, benefit, and create. Thanks for watching, see you next time.